Hi all, I thought I'd just quickly show you what I do to burnish the tracks instead of painting them. It's just better to do it this way because you haven't got to worry about it coming off. Um, I use this stuff, so MIG burnishing fluid. Sometimes I use two pots, sometimes I use one does the job. Depends how much you want them burnished. Um, and you just keep it in as long as you want. But the first thing you should do is to wash the tracks off for any grease or anything that might have gotten on them. Um, when you're working on a tank. And I thought I'd do these now because I've not had much chance to um, do anything much on the tank this week. But then so does with work. So if you get a brush, it's funny when you do this, if it's 135th stuff, you use a toothbrush, 116th, big brush. And you just do this. And you basically just clean the tracks off of anything that might be on them. Especially if you've been running them outside before you've done this because you don't want any dirt or anything because the fluid won't touch the surface of the track that you're trying to burnish and that means that bit will just stay silver so you would do this until you've got all the dirt off and they're nice and clean and then once you've done this you rinse them with fresh water and then you dry them until they're nice and dry so i'll quickly show you when they're all nice and dry right back again um, I normally use a glass dish for doing this because it won't be affected by the stuff uh, by this. I mean, you can clean it out quite easily. Um, anything else, plastic sometimes takes the it, it, it dedicated dish, to, but I'll just use this. Um, and what I normally do is I just basically put the bottle in, and then Mig says, I can fill the bottle up, and I normally use warm water. And you do that. As you can tell with the 116 tank, that's not going to cut the mustard. So to be honest with you, um, I put more water. So I put that much in. There's still solution in there. And it will still do the job. If it doesn't, you can put the other bottle in. So you can just stick the tracks in, and you should start to see them going dark pretty much straight away. And if you leave them um, for about 10 minutes, with even this amount of diluted solution, they will start going. What I might do is I will put. <clears throat> I know some of you this time should be wearing gloves, but, well, it's all right. Why don't you wash your hands and don't stick your finger up your nose? You can see it's starting to get dark already. So, I only really have to use one. Um, and just give it time. I just want to do this as well to show you that it doesn't affect the rubber on the pad. So I'll just leave that here. And it's best pad to take them once in a while, just to get the solution in. What I might do is I'll use the just a little minute, just to speed this up a bit so you can see. I'll put the other bottle in as well. So that's two bottles. And if you agitate them, just to make sure it gets in between everywhere and the cap links aren't touching anywhere. So that the uh, solution can get to them, just like that. After this, I will paint them anyway. Um, but this just darkens them off. And if you can see, it's going already. I'm going to give it ten minutes, then, and I'll show you how dark they are. Hi. And if you can see, it's gone all murky. This is, I must admit, twenty minutes probably. Um, but if you can see, um, black. Um, what you want to do is have a look around at them and see if you can find any bits that have been touching. Because if they've been touching, they won't get the fluid on them. So they won't do it. But to be honest with you, I'm kind of happy with that. They're going to be painted anyway. It just takes off the um, metallic without having to worry about painting them. And this shouldn't come off, unless you sand it off. With paint, also the paint always gets in the pins and stuff, and then it's hard to get them out. With this, it won't. It just darkens it for you. Um, where is it now? Now, I found one of them. <clears throat> and it must have a bit of super glue on it because 
See if you can spot it. There. See there? I must have had a bit of super glue that I didn't know about. Um, and this is why you should wash them first and everything. If it was grease, it would do the same thing. I feel that super glue. If it was grease, it would do the same thing, and then it can't get towards it. So you'd have all splotchy bits. But I think that's that's fair enough. That's what I really wanted. So that was after 20 minutes with two bottles. If you left it for 14 minutes with one bottle, it had done the same thing. So that. And also I do um, I do put warm water in. So I think it does just help the metal take the, the fluid even more. So nice and black. We don't have to worry about that. Don't have to paint it. Um, and yeah, and it's pretty simple. Now what you must do is you must wash them off because um, you don't want to keep the solution on because it will keep working if it's on there. Um, sort of thing. I might just leave them in for a little teeny bit longer because there's still a little few little teeny bits that I want to get more blackened. And then what I'll do is when I've done that and washed them all off, I'll put them back up again and um, you can have a look at the final, final product. But the water will go this colour and it's if it's going that colour it's great because it's working. All right, look, thanks for everyone. Thought I'd quickly show you that I knocked the super glue off that bit, and um, can you see the the stuff has got to work still, even it's been in there for about 40 minutes, and that's about I think it's best I'm going to get. I don't do anything more, so I'm going to wash them off now and I'll show you what it looks like. And this is them all dried, and as you can see, nicely blacked. So you know it doesn't affect the rubber pads at all. Um, the glue still stays on those and they stay in. And yeah, I think that works really well. And I use two bottles, but you can do one and just fill it up like I did. And you just leave it in longer and it does the same thing. Um, and then you can paint over this and not worry about having to, you know, rub off paint off of the pads and everything else and black track paint and the rest of it. So it's a good way of doing it. So it's um, Mig's Burnishing Fluid by ammo. I mean there's other ones you can get but I always use that one because I know what I'm doing with that. And it does the job. And it's all nicely covered. So have a nice bank holiday weekend. So I've not done anything else on the tank um, but I've just been so busy. And um, I will see you all next week. If I can get something else done um, I'll put it up. But thanks a lot. Bye.